Hey everybody, welcome back to another Horror Mystery Box unboxing. This time we finally got the few months behind Fright Crate. This one's April's Crate. By this time, we should already have May's Crate. And here in a few weeks, we should have got June's Crate. But they are coming behind. They said this one was really behind because of a USPS mix-up with one of the items that was supposed to go in it. But the themes in this month was Evil Dead 2, which I'm super excited about. You know how I feel about Evil Dead. Monster Squad, The Stuff, a mystery item, and Blade 2. So uh, I wouldn't consider Blade, I guess, a horror movie. But that's just me. I would consider it's a Marvel superhero movie. Yeah, it has to deal with vampires and a little bit dark side. Like, you know, a Midnight Sun version of Marvel. Because even though I am a big, I'm a huge, huge uh horror fan i am very much into comic books and marvel and stuff i don't damper i don't i don't jump on the side of dc too much but i do love marvel now dc you got constantine you got dr fate i like the uh you know magic side of the comics but i love the runs when they did you know Drac marvel did dracula for a while uh you know they have like i said the midnight sun there was ghost rider and all them but yeah let's get off that and on to this uh, you heard the themes, and what's cool about Fright Crate is that they do this little saying from actors, directors, writers uh, of horror, and this one right here is from Clive Barker, and it is, all I've ever wanted to do was darken the day and brighten the night. Alright, let's crack this open and see what we got. First up, we got our packing paper. As always, usually the t-shirt's up top, so we'll grab it first. All right, that's a pretty cool t-shirt. I do not have one of these in the collection, so it would be good to add just in case we need to throw one on. But this one is from Monster Squad. And I'm pretty sure this art is done by Max Cave. He's been doing all the heart art for, you know, Fright Crate. He does a lot of it, so it's usually him. Just like how Serial Resin Co. always does their bust, their magnets and stuff. And that's usually what we've been getting here lately is we'll get a shirt, a bust, a magnet, and a mystery item, and a a uh, enamel pin so we'll go ahead and grab the pin it's easy to tell that's from blade 2 that new breed of vampire they have All right, we will do the small bubble wrapped item which is a magnet I can already feel it <laughs> which is from the stuff and it is the iconic uh, you know they have changed some of the cover sometimes, but this is a very well-known cover, is this right here. Just the stuff oozing out of the guy. And I would guess this piece of paper is a mystery item. We'll do it for our big part of the bust. So it folded up a piece of blank paper. Max Cave 2021, it looks like it's a his art of a uh, pinhead here, which is kind of cool. That's a cool t-shirt. I don't think I have a uh, Hellraiser t-shirt. The last item, other than the cheat sheet in here, has to be our bust. And it has to be our Evil Dead 2 theme. So, awesome. Because we have a bust from them already that was from Army of Darkness, and it's uh, Evil Ash whenever he's all skeletized or whatever <laughs> all right it's a little goofy looking but it is goofy looking in the movie but it is uh i call him it's not you know you can't call him evil ed because there's already a character evil ed but it's ed, the deadite version of ed from evil dead 2 which is pretty neat i want to put it up here with my uh army of darkness bust up here now sometimes they'll do the full 3d bust but this one is a, just a flat half bust i call them half busts because they're only but it's still a really cool bust. I like it. The only thing that sucks is that, you know, how behind they are right now. It just kind of sucks getting it. But this is, they still are ahead considering dealing with uh, Loot Fright. They're still ahead by, by all means. Because uh, right now it is the 21st, which is a Monday of June. My package from Loot Fright should have shipped between the 1st and 10th of the month of this month to get here. It actually shipped on the 17th and it has not left California. So, what the fuck, Loot Fright? That's all I'm saying. 
Freight Crate is behind because of some packing things. If they took a month off, I'd say they would get right back on it. Like I said, that would that might be a suggestion. Say, hey guys, we're just gonna take a month off, kind of recoup and stack up, you know, kind of be able to up our inventory a little bit and then push it out. That would be great. But I'll still get from them because it's good stuff. Yeah, you gotta wait, but you're not getting like a shitty box. This is still a cool box. It's only like 40 bucks after uh, shipping and handling and all that stuff because it's a $30 box and then you got shipping and handling. So I think it's about 40 to 42 dollars. T-shirt, uh, you know, resin bus, resin magnet, and an enamel pin, and there's always a mystery item. So you get five items. You always get the $20 box, and you miss, uh, I think, the mystery item, but sometimes it's good, sometimes it's an art print or something, maybe like a coaster that you maybe didn't want, but, and that's only 20 so it'll only be 30 bucks for all this stuff. It's a, to me, it's a great deal still. But let's go ahead and check out our cheat sheet for the April uh, Ed bus from Evil Ed 2, and this is brought from... Brought to us again by Seal Resin Co. They do great stuff. Uh, Monster Squad exclusive t-shirt. Magnet from The Stuff. By, also by Seal Resin Co. Our Reaper pin from Blade 2. And our Pinhead exclusive mystery item by Max Cave. So there you go, guys. Now, if you guys want to check this out, their boxes go on sale the first of every month at midnight. Uh, you know, midnight, the final end of midnight on the 30th or 31st of the month, it clicks over to the first. That's whenever they go on sale. So I've never had a issue with uh, getting them on the first of the month because I always wait until 12 and grab it as soon as I can. And they usually don't sell out right off the bat. So if you ever want to check them out, make sure you go to frightcrate.net and then there's Fright Crate on, uh, you know, social medias, which is Instagram and Facebook. But check them out. I've you know they're it's 40 bucks just to give them a try if you see some stuff you might like you know in the themes but it's worth worth a shot i still like them i've got them for i think almost two to three years now and i still enjoy getting them i have massive amounts of t-shirts but that's everything that came in this one uh please like subscribe share leave a comment down below and uh hope to see you next time